RTX on. It's time for Ampere, time for RTX 3000. Uh, be aware that I'm recording this before the keynote, so some stuff uh, might be different uh, than what was said, but these are the informations that we got from NVIDIA. There have been leaks. Some of them seem to have been right, others not quite. The most important thing for many of us is uh, the fact that the prices aren't, I would say, quite as steep as people would think. We have the 3080, uh, it's priced at $699, the 3070 at 499 that's very very nice and the 3090 at 1499 that's not quite nice or is it 3070 uh, for 499 the 70 is usually that uh, awesome sweet spot between price and performance for 499 getting a card that nvidia says will match the performance of a 2080 ti the 3070 will have eight gigabytes of gddr6 and TDP for the 3070 is supposed to be at around 220 watts. We have the 3080 for 699, which is also somewhat surprising, I would say. This is supposed to be 40 to 50 percent faster than a 2080 Ti. This is what Nvidia is saying, so that is really interesting as well. The 3080 will have 10 gigabytes of RAM, and the TDP for the 3080 is supposed to be at around 320 watts. And we have the 3090 for $14.99. This is a different card, of course. What Nvidia is saying, and take this with a grain of salt, of course, wait for benchmarks, always. But Nvidia is saying that the 3090 is made to compete with the Titan. It's a Titan level card. So if this is really true and it is a Titan level card for $14.99, it is quite interesting. Well, and this is a 24 gigabyte GDDR 6X card, so I guess you can probably play Flight Simulator at 4K max, 60 FPS, hopefully. And the TDP for the 3090 is supposed to be around 350 watts. NVIDIA is saying that you need a 750 watt PSU for the 3090 and 3080, and a 650 for the 3070. Now all Founders Edition cards will come with the 12 pin and all of them will come with an adapter and box and what Nvidia is saying and something that is, uh, can be somewhat confusing and something to, to, to be careful with is that you actually need two separate cables coming from the PSU to power this adapter. So instead of using a splitter, which Nvidia recommends against, you will need uh, two dedicated PCIe 8 pin power cables coming separately from your PSU. So these are the details that we know today about this Ampere RTX 3000 series launch. And what do you think? Uh, I personally think that especially the 370, if uh, the performance uh, matches what is claimed, can be quite the winner. Now, for aesthetics, I can see a lot of people having very, very strong opinions about this card. I can see a lot of people loving them. I can see a lot of people hating them. Now for further discussion, our main point will be the mega thread on Reddit. There's going to be thousands of comments there, people sharing their experiences, their thoughts about this card. Please join us, I'll leave the links down below. Meanwhile, throughout these troubling times, stay safe, healthy, and happy gaming. Oh, and happy folding as well.